Hello everybody and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you guys are new here, hi, my name is Kennedy. Um, today's video is going to be uh, what's in my clinical bag and also like essentials you need for clinical. So without further ado, let's get to the video. Okay, also I'm sorry if the lighting is like off at all. Um, it's kind of been a little bit cloudy today and the sun isn't out. Um, and I don't really have like a setup yet. So we're working with what we got. Um, okay, first things first, I'm sure everybody has already seen this, but this is my stethoscope case. Um, got it off the one and only Amazon. <laughs> um, I'll link it in the description below, but yeah, so here I have, I'll open it up for you guys. Hopefully it doesn't fall. So yeah, in here I have my stethoscope. Um, you guys have seen this already in another video, but I just have the Lipman Classic 3 stethoscope. Um, I love it. I swear by it. It's the best. Um, I also have my pen light here. Um, what I love about this is that it has like the size of the pupils here and then also like a measuring here. So that's very handy. And then as well in my stethoscope case, I do have my medical rates. So um, I usually keep this like in my uh, badge, just like tucked in, usually like this in my badge in case I need it or like want a reference off of it. But yeah, I keep it in there. So yeah, that's that. Okay, so number two is my favorite black pens. So um, I always have to document using black ink. And this is my beyond holy grail favorite pen. Um, it's the Pentel Energel Liquid Gel Ink. It writes really smooth. Um, as a nursing student or as a nurse in general, you know you love your pens. So make sure you always have extras because people usually end up stealing them by accident or like you'll misplace it, leave it in a patient's room or whatever. So yeah, always make sure that you have extra ones. I usually also keep this in my stethoscope little kit thing as well so along with pens you also want to keep highlighters with you usually i have i have yellow but it has disappeared somewhere um but yeah highlighters are key especially you know care plans are super long um and have multiple pages so if you have a highlighter with you you can always highlight the super super important details so that's a good supply to have with you okay so next is my little foldable keyboard keyboard foldable binder um so in here i can like put patient notes if i want or like any extra notes that i need um and yeah on here you have like the muscles pupil sizes um you have like conversions here um yeah you have like your QRS complex, your QRS intervals. You have a pain scale too, so this is beautiful. This is my my love. It's so handy to have. Um, it's small, compactable, beautiful. Love it. Um, because I drink a lot of coffee, especially like before you go to clinical, um, you're gonna wanna have like either these Listerine like cool mint breast strips or like some gum if you have. Um, obviously you're not allowed to chew gum when you're in clinical or like on a shift. So that's why I keep these with me so that I can always have fresh breath. Next is a water bottle. Um, this one is one liter. So you know, you're always busy. You don't really have a ton of time to drink water, um, but having a big jug of water makes you want to drink it more. So um, yeah, always make sure that you have one with you um, because you can have you can drink water out of the, the cups and stuff like that. But if you have a water bottle, you're usually more you usually want to drink it more than like a little styrofoam cup of water. So yeah. So you also want to have extra ponytails or scrunchies if you prefer so that if your ponytail breaks halfway during shift, 
you don't have to go use like an elastic <laughs> from a um like the elastic in the gloves i would show because like me explaining it didn't really make a ton of sense but okay so here's a pair of gloves if you like oh, usually this comes out easier okay yeah usually if you do that like it just comes off the top and then you have an elastic so i mean that's a good tip if you don't have a ponytail you can always just use an elastic from the back of a glove but yeah having extra hair ties for sure will come in handy um what i love to have with me in case i need a little pick me up and i don't have time to get coffee is either like a nun tablet um that has like the electrolytes or like this is a pedialyte um that you can just put in your water just for a little electrolyte booster to help keep your energy up instead of drinking lots of coffee throughout the day okay so also um what you want to keep with you are band-aids the hospital has band-aids too but if you like prefer a specific type of band-aid you're gonna want to keep that with you especially because as we're on our feet all the time you're more prone to blisters also with the band-aids carry an extra pair of socks with you your feet do get sweaty or your shoes could get gross and dirty and you have to clean them but then your socks are dirty so if you have an extra pair of socks you'll never have an issue also what you always need is a watch or something with a second hand um my watch can go here let me like it can go have a sec it can go have a second hand it can have a second hand <laughs> so that when i'm doing vitals um yeah i have that um but you can also keep like a another little handheld watch here let me grab it this is my little handheld watch um it just clips onto my scrub bottoms so i like never lose it um and also what's nice is like when you flip it um upwards from your scrub bottoms it like has the right like the 12 is at the top you know <laughs> um yeah so that you never lose it because i know some facilities don't allow you to have your apple watch so it depends on your school and on the hospital or the facility policies Alrighty, so that is everything that i have in my clinical bag and clinical essentials so thank you guys so much for watching uh like and subscribe and i'll be back with more videos bye